Okay, so today we're gonna do the second um, step for preparing Winkler bags, and that's the transfer of the sifted lifted tail, which is right now in this bag, into the white bag on which the lifted tail will be drying. And to do that, we have a few steps. So the first one is actually to be sure we prepare our um, sample, so we're gonna minimize the amount of uh, organic matter that will fall. Because I like to sort through insects I'm not so happy when I have a big, thick mud to sort through and try to figure out where the insects are uh, falling in. So for doing that cleanly, we're gonna actually place an empty cup, yeah, this one is empty, at the bottom of the winkler bag, right? And we're gonna place it temporarily, just for the time that we're gonna be placing, actually uh, transferring Okay, so here we have it. Okay, and I try to make it flush with the ring right here, so this way everything will fall in. Okay, then the second step is to actually transfer the lifter into the mesh bag. And for that, I'm actually gonna put a glove on because here in Hong Kong, we have a lot of ants, like especially ponerine, that can uh, sting you, I was actually stung earlier, and this is not a pleasant feeling, so gloves will actually prevent those kind of things to happen. So I'm going to take this bag here, try to open the node, there we go. Here we go. So I'm just going to shake it a bit so everything is going to fall in the bottom. And put my gloves on. Oh, someone could pass me um, a garbage please. Okay, so here we have everything ready and what I'm going to do first is to remove some of the longer twigs that could actually come and kind of get stuck into the the mesh bag and then kind of prevent the leaf detail to be well widespread. So in that sample it doesn't seem like it's much of a problem but sometimes you can have a lot of them and you can make a very quick kind of mattress that not very good for that. Okay, so then I put, I place the mesh bag directly inside the bag. Here we go, and I open it. And then the next step for me would actually be to transfer as much as I can of the leaf litter within the mesh bag. And so here I do it, do it directly. And one of the advantage I find of doing it directly inside is that it really prevents numbers of uh, arthropods to escape. And so, here we go. Keep placing it inside. It's a very nice leaf litter. So it might not be the most or quickest way of doing it, but I found it to be quite efficient. So there is a bag where we actually collected about four meters square of leaf litter. And one of the tricks is actually also to try to find the piece of paper that is a tag that is telling us from which site it is. So here we found it. I usually try to make tags relatively large so I can find them easily and those are the that SMW2. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing later is actually preparing another tag SMW2, which is a code for this site that I'm going to place directly inside the ethanol right here. So I'm going to do that in a minute. But first, I keep filling that bag and we're almost full here. I think we might be able to. Should be enough. One. OK. 
Okay. So we're getting pretty full. We still have some leaf litter in the bottom, but not too much. We're going to keep it for later. Right now, what I'm going to do is actually transfer this mesh bag full of leaf litter within the actually the Winkler bag where it's going to be drying for three days. And here I place it on the side. Okay, you can see or hear maybe some of the leaf litter falling, but that's okay because we do have a small cup on the bottom that is dry and is kind of catching everything else. So here, kind of a key break. You can see there is a cockroach here moving on top. And what I'm doing is actually I'm kind of creating a ridge with my finger because I still have some leaf litter to pull. So I would take the bag here. For that, I prefer to have a bit more dexterity, so I re remove the glove. And I just take that bag here in my hand, and I will be pouring the rest right now directly from the top. And here you can see I have it all in my hand, what is left over, and I'm going to put it right on top. So that goes perfectly, and some again is falling in the bottom, but that's not really an issue. Okay, I'm creating another ridge because now we're gonna have to transfer um, the rest. Uh, you can see we have a nice Pseudonio Ponera. It's kind of running on top. Okay, so make the tag. So SMW2, SMW2. Oh, that's a pencil. Actually, I want it. Uh, that's a pen, I like a pencil. Okay, so don't use, that's a good example. Don't, do not use pen because with ethanol, of course, they're going to fade or get diluted. So here's a pencil, perfect. So SMW2, I'm going to hit both sides just to be SMW2. All right, and then we put it on a cup. It's going to fall in the bottom, flat, perfect. And here we have some insects. Actually, this one is not an insect, it's an isopod. It's a very nice one. It's kind of, oh, put it on top. So we check here if we have a few other things that might have fallen in. We have a beetle here. Oh, actually, no, that's not. Well, we'll see what it is later. And just going to be sure that everything is here. All right. So we're going to replace that cup. Find a node here, it is okay. And in the cup, I'm kind of shaking also the edge to be sure that I'm getting all the refitter that fell off so far. And here you can see we have a lot of refitter. So if I would not have done that, I would have to sort all that leaf litter uh, by myself alone, which is not fun. This is not what I want to do. But here I can put it in the ridge, and nothing is going to fall. Okay. Now we can place the cup with ethanol. And sometimes it's necessary to put the dry cup several times, especially if you have a soil that is um, very sandy, a lot of dust, for example, fell off. So sometimes I do up to two or three times. But here today we're kind of lucky. We have a nice compact soil and we can place the cup with ethanol right away. And here we go. I make just a very simple double node, make it flush with the ring and here we can close the winkler don't forget that last step otherwise most of it would just fell off here we had an ant that tried to escape and here we go we are kind of finishing our winkler bye bye we'll see it again in three days we could actually wait the mass of the dry leaf litter and also get an idea of the volume that we sifted within those four meters square so here we go, we close it, we make that cleanly, we make a tie knot to be sure that nothing else can escape. Or actually going in, which is sometimes a problem in other places, you can have some very small ants um, that can actually go in and kind of, um, I would say, steal all the fruit of your product. Okay, so here's uh, the winkler ready, and today we're gonna do probably at least 
12 or 15 of them, we have a, a bunch of Euclidia to draw. There we go. So I hope you like this video and it will be useful. Bye. Cool. <laughs> <laughs>